What up world? Yeah, I know. It's been a long time since I put a video up on my page. I apologize for that. I've been extremely busy finishing my first feature film, The Bond. It is almost done. It's actually slated for a red carpet premiere April 30th. Stay tuned for details for that if you live in Phoenix. Um, there will be details on uh, thebondmovie.com. But that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to show my movie to you. There'll be plenty of content for that here. I'm here to talk about my new series that I'm working on that I think a lot of you screenwriters and creators like me might appreciate. Well, this series is called Movie Pitches, and it's pretty straightforward. As you guys know, I'm a storyteller. I love telling stories. I love just spitting crazy ideas and building these amazing worlds if possible. Um, more so than even the, the actual story itself is the world building. I love doing that. And uh, my brain's been working a lot lately. I have a lot of crazy stuff that I've been working on in terms of my scripts. But also every day I just come up with random ideas. I'm like, you know what? I should be putting these on camera for the world to hear all 12 of y'all um, and see uh, what happens, you know? So this is the first episode of Movie Pitches. And this first pitch that I actually came up with I actually literally made up in my car 20 minutes ago, which made me want to start this whole series because I was like, this idea is pretty crazy. So we're going to get into this. The film is called Jesus Year. Now, before I get into this, a couple notes. One, this film is not religious. So all you Christian Catholics and the whatnots, don't be hitting me up in the comment section, although I'm sure you probably will. Whatever, bro. With that said... What is the Jesus year? So the concept of the Jesus year is, as you know, uh, Jesus, if you believe in him or whatever, you guys, listen, we're not going too deep into this, that side of things. Okay. He died at age 33. Um, but as you know, uh, Jesus is a wonderful man. He resurrected, yada, yada. And so a theme amongst my friends and my cohorts is that when you turn 33 years old, you embark on your Jesus year. And this is supposed to be a year of resurrection, uh, g growth, rebirth as you embark into your uh, older adult years, right? So taking this concept of the Jesus year and applying it to a, uh, not necessarily a raunchy comedy, but kind of a dark comedy. Uh, this pitch focuses on a character whose name I don't have. Doesn't really matter. And that will probably be a common theme in these pitches where we don't have names for these characters because I'm actually not that great at coming up with names. But main character, he's, a, you know, kind of a, a loser. You know what I'm saying? Nerd. Sits at home all the time. Uh, maybe a virgin. Doesn't really do much. But he has a strong circle of gamer friends that he plays around with. Um, playing Halo or Fortnite or whatever game is hot in the streets at the time this movie comes out. And basically, um, his 33rd birthday is coming up his friends decide to take him to a special pinball place because he loves pinball. They all go to this pinball thing, et cetera, so forth. And eventually he runs into a pinball machine that is called uh, the Crucifixion of Christ. <laughs> I'm realizing this movie might, this might be a wild pitch, but anyways, I digress. He uh, decides to play this pinball machine and he gets a high score, uh, some super magic stuff ensues and nothing happens. No, just the, the machine shakes and does some stuff. Something like that. I don't know. And he gets all scared, but then nothing happens. Tomorrow's his birthday. He wakes up in the morning and all of a sudden, all these things start working out in his favor. He's able to... <laughs> God, this is going to be terrible. He's able to turn the water into wine at the party that he goes to later that day. He's able to make a bread... Uh, turn last for an entire meal because maybe at the party that he goes to, that's that's just the prize party that they throw from him. Uh, he they run out of pizza and he manages to make one slice of pizza for all of his friends. This idea is nuts. What am I doing? I don't know, bro. Let's keep this going though. Anyways, so basically the whole concept of this film is that this man now has. Jesus powers, Jesus like Christ like abilities. He can walk on water, he can turn water into wine, he can feed the many with few, he can do all the stuff that is said in the Bible, right? So, with that said, <laughs> why am I doing this? This is fucking nuts. This is crazy. This is crazy. Anyways, 
Uh, so the, the, the whole thing is that during his Jesus year or during these events of him having the Jesus powers, you know, it becomes a, a, a cat and not a cat and mouse game, but a journey that, uh, this character goes through where, you know, all his friends start to figure out that he has these Jesus like abilities and they start asking him to do stuff for him and so on and so forth. Maybe there's a love interest involved and he, maybe he's trying to use those powers to impress the girl. Or something like that and he realizes that that's not what his powers are here for his powers are there to teach and educate people not necessarily about religion because keep in mind this is a side note i'm agnostic so comment section tear me up please i don't know but whatever this whole the, the, he's not going to go preach christianity or catholicism or whatever you believe in in this movie but more so this the preaching the idea of to be great, you know what I'm saying? So he starts doing charitable efforts. He starts giving back to people. He starts, you know, doing things for communities and charities and starts rebuilding fucking homes and using his powers to really help the world around him. But then, dun dun dun, you have uh, the media, right? And the corporations that are uh, watching this man do all this stuff and they don't like him. They don't like that. And so what ends up happening is that through a series of events that I haven't put together yet because this is a pitch off the top of my head. Please bear with me. Um, he winds up, end up get, getting sued by these corporations and the media. And it winds up being this whole rigmarole that's all over the news and media. And people are calling him this and people are calling him that, et cetera, so forth. And um, <clears throat> he winds up getting sued and he loses the lawsuit. So he winds up being poor in the streets and all of his friends abandon him. Keep in mind, he still has his, his uh, mystical, magical Jesus powers, but... He is now lost. Before he was using his powers for the wrong reasons, became famous. Even though he was helping people out, he was still kind of egotistical because his life has changed so drastically. But now he learned the moral of his lessons. And now he starts to really, really, really help people. You know, going going into the, to homeless shelters and healing people and then the hospitals and healing people and doing things like that, et cetera, so forth. And um, basically the movie all comes to a head when uh, his friends and his family and all these people kind of turn his turn their back on him because out of fear or uh, uh, obligation or entitlement, or just it's going to be a lot of themes that are touched on in the story, right? And he feels abandoned, but then he realizes that his place in this world. This, this is this is similar to what I would know about the Bible. Because keep in mind, I did go to a little bit of Catholic school when I was younger. If I can find a photo, I'll put it up or something. But the idea is that what does it mean to be a human, right? What does it mean to be a great person? What does it mean to be uh, someone who is, you know, told for decades and eons and eons after your death, right? You have to to leave an impact that inspires others to be great. And so he kind of turns into like a vagabond and, you know, like a, like a, like a nomad and kind of roams the world. Um, and helps all these people out throughout his Jesus year, right? But then, at the end of the movie, he turns 34, and he loses his ability. And at that point, he still decides to do what he wants to do. And that's kind of all I got right now for this film. <laughs> I don't have a really brilliant ending for this film yet, but I do have a really strong first and third, or sorry, first and second act in my head of how this movie would play out. The third act, it's a little, it's a little rusty because I, I don't have a, an end in terms of how I would see this movie ending. Originally, when I was thinking about this in the car, I was like, oh, I should kill him, right? I had the corporations, you know, prosecute him, and maybe he goes to jail and he ends up on death row, and they kill him, and he rises back from the dead. I thought about that, but then I was realizing that the themes are too strong, and, and and but we're trying to stray away from that a little bit, right? So, I don't know, I don't know. I probably would never ever make this movie. I'm just pitching it to you. This is Movie Pitches. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did like this pitch and you want to hear other pitches, uh, including one for Magic School Bus reboot, live action reboot starring Zoe Deschanel and Charlie Day. And uh, it's a great one. I actually have it written on my Facebook page somewhere, but maybe I'll do a video about that. I can make these pitches all day. This is literally what I love to do is make stories and tell you guys these stories in a way that you guys will enjoy. So let me know what you think. If you want to hear more movie pitches and more stuff like this, let me know. 
subscribe to the page, tell your friends. There's this weird black guy who has really weird ideas that sound kind of cool sometimes if he edits the video right. Um, with that said, we have plenty of stuff coming. Like I said, I do apologize for not being all up on this page more often. I think the last video I posted was literally like four or five months ago. I apologize for that, but I'm back. I'll be doing a lot more videos in the multimedia world from story pitches, uh, more other stuff, just stuff, just stuff. All right, maybe we'll start even doing some live streams too. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you, one love.